This past week, the ballot machines were tested at Hopkinton Town Hall for the upcoming state primary election. So yeah, we're actually just currently testing all of the equipment that we're going to be using on election day. That way we can ensure that all the equipment is accurately programmed so that it's reading all of the ballots correctly. So what we did was we marked all of the ballots and made a tally sheet of how we marked them. And then we check that against the receipts the machines print out to ensure that they're accurate. And uh, typically about how long does this process take? It can take up to a couple hours. We need to do the process uh, for each machine twice because each machine has both its own assigned memory card along with a spare memory card. So we have to test the spares and then test the original one that will be used on election day and lock it into the machine with a seal. So it, it can take anywhere between one and a half to two plus hours sometimes. And as town clerk, what's your role in this? Uh, it's mostly to observe and just watch with the election equipment itself because at the end of the day, I'm the one who maintains and keeps it when it's outside of, uh, of the vault and also when it's not in, at the election itself. Uh, at the election itself, my two wardens here will be in charge of the machines, and I'll be more of just an administrative role. Girl Scout Juliana Lucas was in attendance as she is working on a project to encourage voting in an effort to earn a Girl Scout's Gold Star Award. Can you talk about what you're doing here today? Yeah, so I'm working on my Girl Scout Gold Award. Um, for my last award for Girl Scouts. And so what I'm doing is I'm creating a project that can be put into the high school curriculum to educate students on the importance of voting and how it works and also to encourage them to register and actually go out and vote once they're eligible. And uh, what are some of the things that you're doing as part of this project? Um, so I'm creating a video slash presentation about um, what it means to vote, how you do it, um, why it matters, things like that, and I'm going to try and get reps from the state to um, just say something quick about um, why it's important or why you should do it. And I'm also going to try and get some, a place in the school where kids can actually go and register themselves um, so that if they want to vote in an upcoming election and they're el eligible but not yet registered, they can go there and do that. And I understand this is for your uh, gold award. Can you talk about what the gold award is and some of the things that you have to do to get the gold award? Yeah, so the gold award is the highest award you can get in Girl Scouts after bronze and silver. Um, you have to do 75 hours or more work on your project. So um, to, in order to achieve it, you have to, I have to work specifically 75 or more hours, like working with people in my community and working to build up my project so it can be approved. Um, it has to impact your community, so it has to Im impact not just like one part, but like pretty much the whole thing. So the people and um, the communities within my town, um, and also it has to be sustainable. So it has to be able to last even when I'm not there or I'm done with my project and it's already in um, like the curriculum in the school. Now, is it just uh, this one project that's part of that, or is it multiple things that you're doing? Um, so it's this presentation and video that I'm going to um, present to the high school students in the school, but it's also going to be built into the curriculum, either in guidance classes or government classes, to give the kids a little bit of history and um, information on what voting actually is, like how you do it, and... Um, the impact it makes on the elections. And what do you think about this process so far? Uh, this is so cool. Um, I'm not eligible to vote, so I don't really know how everything happens, but it's so cool to see behind the scenes like what it takes to even prepare for an election. I didn't know that they had to do this, and it's just really cool to see the machine in action and how it works and the end results, how they tally them up and everything like that. All right, well, you're certainly working on a uh, great project, and we wish you the best of luck. Thank you.